Adeli, I know that you work at the development plan giving department of the Florida Conference and my son just turned 18. A friend of mine told me about the importance of having a power of attorney for my son. Please tell me more about it. Sure, I will be happy to help you understand why you should have not only the power of attorney, but also the healthcare surrogate, the living will, and the last will and testament for your adult children. As you know, after 18, your son is considered an adult. If something happens to him and he's not able to make decisions because he's incapacitated, you will not be able to make medical decisions on his behalf. Allow me to share a real story that was aired in the news and you will understand what I just said. Your high school or college-aged child critically injured and in a coma you'd be able to step in and help with medical decisions, right? Maybe not. Five on your side's Monica La Liberty is here now to explain how parents can be powerless. Monica? I tell you, people I have mentioned this to say, huh? And that is why we want to get the word out. And so does a mom who went through the legal ordeal many parents don't realize until it is too late. Forrest was still in high school. He had just turned 18. Part of the mission now for his mom, Ray, to get parents to think about the unthinkable. While he was still in a coma, we had to hire an attorney. We had to come back to our county, appear in court, have essentially a little mini trial. All to get, in essence, legal guardianship to make decisions for Forrest when he couldn't. We all know legally 18-year-olds are adults. Under HIPAA, that means their medical issues are none of your legal business, even if they're on your insurance. So if your child is in a serious accident and cannot speak for themselves, the care provider, in Forrest's case, the doctors, can make the decisions. It is called implied consent. And a lot of times we think of this as someone who's getting older. Um, but it really applies to all of us. Attorney James Van stresses, if you want a say, you must have your child's permission in writing. The three signed forms you need, a HIPAA authorization allows health care providers to share information with you. A medical power of attorney lets your child name you to make necessary decisions. And with a durable power of attorney, they can name you to handle their financial affairs. After the fact, it can cost thousands of dollars and precious time. With his family on his side, yeah. he's come a long that. way. I mean, if, if Forrest had stayed in a coma and we hadn't been able to get legal guardianship, then the state would make those decisions. And I mean, I can't imagine how terrible that would be. If you want to make decisions on your children's behalf, then take advantage of the free service that your Florida conference has and contact us and we will help you. And now you got my attention. Please tell me how to do it. It's very easy. You can go to our website and fill out the forms there, or I can send you an email and you can print the forms. And if none of those work for you, I can mail the forms to your home address for free. Members and pastors, please, Take advantage of this great free service that the Florida Conference has for you to protect your family.